Hi everyone! In this video I will be reading What Time Is It? An Easy Way to Tell Time. I'm a clock. You will always find me around the house. I have a nice clean face with 12 big numbers on it. Now I'll show you how I work to tell time for my friend Billy and his family. Now it is 7 o'clock. It's easy for Billy to get out of bed when his mother calls him. One look at me and he knows it's time to start the day of work and play. Breakfast time, 8 o'clock. While Billy is eating his breakfast, he makes his plans for the day. If you're a planner like Billy, knowing how to tell time is a help. It's 9 o'clock. Billy is helping his mother around the house. You know... I'm always surprised to see how many things a child can do to help his mother. At 10 o'clock, Billy goes shopping with his mother. He always looks at the clock in the church tower. If you can tell time on one clock, like me, you can tell time on any clock. It's exactly 11 o'clock, and Billy is at the playground. Billy loves to slide on the slide and swing in the swing. It's almost time for lunch, now, and Billy hurries home. At 12 o'clock, or noon, they usually say, Billy has his lunch. At noon, both my hands point straight up at number 12. When it's a quarter after one, Billy goes to bed for his nap. The quarter after time was hard for me to understand when I was young, but Grandfather Clock helped me by chiming out the quarter hours. Billy wakes up from his nap at half past two o'clock. He drinks a glass of milk and eats a cookie downstairs. Cookies and milk taste very good when you wake up from a nap. It's quarter to three. Billy is out in the backyard playing with his friends. They are playing with a big packing case. One day, they pretended that the packing case was a bus, but today it is a big pirate ship. Now the children are playing Billy's favorite game. They are running races. Have you heard the riddle, what runs all day but stays in the same place? The answer is me, a clock. Look, it's four o'clock already. At five o'clock, Billy comes in from the yard. It is time for his bath. They tell me baths are good for people, but I know that a bath would ruin me. Water makes clocks rusty. I wonder why people don't get rusty. About quarter after six, Billy's daddy comes home from work, and the family eats supper together. It's one of my favorite times of the day. Mother and daddy and Billy tell each other what they did all day. Billy's mother is reading him a bedtime story. I like to listen to the story, too. It's half past seven, and Billy will be asleep soon. Now Billy's asleep. In the living room, his mother is knitting a sweater, and his daddy is reading the paper. It's a quarter to eight, a quiet, restful time of the evening. All the outside noises are beginning to quiet down, too. Billy's mother always looks in his room at night to be sure that he's covered. Pretty soon, his daddy will wind me up. Do you know what time it is? It's 11 o'clock. Now it's 12 o'clock. Midnight, they call it. The family is sound asleep. Except me. I keep going night and day. I like to make a friendly tick at night to let folks know I'm on the job. Here is Billy again. He'll be getting up soon to begin another day. What time is it? It's seven o'clock, of course. Very good. In fact, perfect. That's the way to tell time. The end. Thank you for watching.